Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 5 part 2 under the topic Bode plot. The problem is for the function gh of s an expression is given draw the Bode plot. That's it. So in part 1 we had already find out the values for magnitude plot and phase plot and now we are going to mark the points on a semi-log sheet. I had given the part 1 link in the description. Kindly check out. It will be very useful for you to understand the problem. So this is our magnitude table and these are all the values of frequencies with respect to magnitudes. Now we are going to plot these points on a semi-log sheet. So the first thing is I had taken the magnitude value in y-axis. Depending upon the values, we can take the scale. This is according to our wish, right? No compulsion, you have to take like this. Then on x-axis, in x-axis, we are having the corner frequencies. And here the corner frequency should be always marked as, here we are starting with this with 0.1. Even you can start with 0.01. And you have to multiply this value with 10. That will give you 1 here. That is, this, this covers the decade. Okay, 10 elements will be within this limit. And when 1 multiplied by 10 gives you 10. And 10 multiplied by 10 gives you 100. Likewise, you have to mark the values on the x-axis. And x-axis stands for your frequencies. Now, we are going to mark the points. So the first value is at point 1 the magnitude is 14. So this is our point 1 and here 14 lies between our 12 and 16 right. So here this is our point 14 and this is our first point. And the second one is point 25 the value is 14. So for a corner frequency of point 25. So this is our 2 right. This is our point 2. So here lies point 25. So at point 25 the value of frequency is again 14. So this is our second point. Right. Then the third one is at corner frequency of point 5 the value is 8. So this is my point 5. So at this point 5 the value is 8 here. So this is my third point. And corner frequency of 4 the magnitude is 8. So where lies 4 here you see. This is my 1 and this is my 10. So between 1 and 10, I should have my 4. So when you look from the top side, so this is my 4. At 4, the value is 8 again. So again, you have to mark a point here. Right. And the next thing is, the value of magnitude is 0 at a corner frequency of 10. So where is my 10 here? So this is my 10. So at this 10, the magnitude value is 0. So here I had marked the point. Right, that's all. We have marked all the points of the magnitude plot. Now, we are going to join these points using a scale here. First, name the points. So, this is our first point, right? So, here I am naming it as A, B, this is my C, D and finally E. Right, so first join A and B using a scale here. Then B and C. Then C and D. And finally D and E. Right. So this is our magnitude plot for the given problem. Now we have to write down the slopes. For writing the slopes we have to refer our table 1. So when you look at the table what is the value of the first slope? It is 0 here. So, the initial value of the slope is 0. We will mark it now on the semi-log sheet. So, here the value of the slope is 0 dB. So, just write it. 0 dB. Right. Then the next, again we have to look at the table. When you look at the table, so what is the value of the slope here? We are finally getting the value is minus 20. So, this is our next value. So, the value of the slope between B and C is minus 20. So, minus 20 decibel per decade. Right. Then the next thing. What is the next change of slope? The value is 0 dB. We will mark it on the semi-log sheet. So, this value is 0 dB. So, 0 decibel per decade. And finally, 
what is the final value of change of slope it is minus 20 again so we will mark it so this is my minus 20 decibel per decade right so finally we have drawn our magnitude plot next we are going to mark our phase plot so these are all the values here these are all the frequency ranges and these are all the respective phase angles depending upon the value of the phase angles we have to select the scale here so in semi log sheet i had selected values like this for plotting our phase angle right so here the first value is at a frequency of 0.1 the phase angle is minus 12 so here is 10 and 20 so between 10 and 20 there lies 12 so here i had correspondingly marked that minus 12 right the next point is 0.25 with an angle of minus 22 so this is 0.1 so here lies 0.25 so 0.25 right the angle is marked as minus 22 so here is 20 and 30 so between 20 and 30 lies 22 right similarly you have to mark all the points like this right and we have to join this graph by using our free hand no need to use a scale here so when you join right so this is our respect to phase plot for the given problem so finally we had come to the conclusion in the problem they are they had asked us to draw the Bode plot so we had drawn the magnitude plot and phase plot the thing to be noted here is you have to write your respect to things on the x-axis and y-axis so here in, in x-axis you have to write frequency the unit is radian per second and in y axis here for magnitude you have to write a in db here a represents the magnitude right and here again for this y axis you have to write it as phase angle in degrees so here it is mandatory to write the values here right that is angle in degrees then it is mandatory to write the scale here you have to write in y axis that is this axis what is the value and this axis what is the degree you have to mention it and it is more better to write here you can write it as magnitude plot and here you can name it as phase plot and always you have to highlight the 0 db line and minus 180 degree line so here i am having 0 db line so here i had highlighted that one whereas here when you look down you see in the maximum phase angle is only minus 86 degree so there is no minus 180 degree line so no need to draw here right so hope you people understand the problem well if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section thank you